Have you ever felt real pain? Smile at the camera. I can't escape this interview without bringing up Titus Parr, because obviously he's the person who connected us. I'm sorry, who? who? <laughs> T Titus, maybe? Do you remember him at all? Titus, no, it doesn't ring a bell. Oh, I guess we can skip it then. Somewhere deep in my mind, there's this a-hole that put me in snow for four days and froze me to death. Um, but apart from that, no, no, nothing comes nothing. to mind. This, this was just foreplay. I got a, a phone call that there was a film being shot like two states over, yeah. which was uh, Titus's movie, and that they wanted me for one day for this character that they had and would I be prepared to fly over and do it, and, which I could because um, I was uh, finished and just about to go home, actually. So I so I said, all right, I'll do it. So I flew over. I didn't know Titus until I met him on the, on the, the set when I first arrived. Yeah. And then he turned out to be a freak of uh, <laughs> Mad Max and Wes. And I was like, oh, yeah. He went, we're going to shave your head into a mohawk. And I have I went, no, we're not. <laughs> we need to, no, no, we don't. <laughs> it was this whole big thing of him and me. And I, I gave him, I gave in and let him do certain things like put the yeah. red in my beard and, and do it in my hair and make it look like I had a mohawk. You're my son. You come from a long line of proud bear hunters. And we just put together something that was magical and nobody realized it at yeah. the time. I mean, it was just one of those things that the character I played, I adored. I just adored the character so much. And the, the way that Titus directed it just blew my mind. I mean, he just had these wonderful people like the guy that was doing all of the drone work had won like five awards for yeah. best drone operator in, in Europe and all, all the world or something. And, and just the most magical shots and just the way he had it planned out and done. And that the end to the, to that little film was never written. We just happened to be in the cabin on the last night. And, uh, we're just sitting around by that fire and, and uh, Titus just suddenly went, okay, this is what we're going to do. You know what to do. But they don't believe me. No, you don't believe yourself. I'm not like you, Dad. I never was. You're my son. You come from a long line of proud bear hunters. And you know exactly what to do. Hunt the bear. Right on. Kill the bastard. It is probably one of the best things I've ever done in my life. And it's just so beautifully shot, so beautiful. And the two people in it with, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, they can act. I was like, oh, great. Show me up, you motherfuckers. You know, it's just like, <laughs> they were so good. I was yeah. like, oh, dear God. Um, but that was the point is that they were just amazingly wonderful to work with. And it just held this thing together. And it's just like, oh, it, it just grabs you by the kanakis and won't let go. I just loved it.